everyone, I'm Amanda with Sweet Pieces, and I want to talk to you today about painting your fabric. We get lots of customers from, or questions from customers all the time about painting fabric. We have a bunch of chairs around the shop that have been painted with it. Our famous hot pink sofa with bling tufts that was also painted. So I'm going to do a quick little video for you today. It's so super simple. So we have this beautiful chair. This is how we bought the chair. It was gold and the cushion is probably like a cotton blend. It has a little bit of a raised pattern on it, um, but there are some stains on here as you can see. And so I wanna just paint this up and I'm actually painting this for one of our peeps. Uh, she's getting married in a couple of weeks, Leonora. We can't wait, so excited for her. But she's gonna have a little seating area with some really fabulous vintage furniture. And so we're gonna paint this seat in a blush color that we made custom by using Primer Red, which is this beautiful, rich brick red by Annie Sloan. And we did it one part Primer Red to 16 parts Old White. So this is the beautiful shade of pink or blush that we're gonna be using today. And if you haven't seen these awesome color cards that we've done, we do have them on our blog, they're on Pinterest. It just gives you a really great inspiration for different colors that you can create with Annie Sloan's beautiful 32 colors. So let me get started here. So the first thing that you wanna do when you're painting your fabric, this actual seat is attached to the chair. So I just taped off the areas where the frame is so I don't get any paint on there. And I like to spray my fabric down before I paint it. You can also mix your paint with water, but I just find that that's an extra step and I don't like doing extra steps. So I'm gonna just spritz down a small area of the fabric that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna get it, you know, pretty wet. I'm gonna just take my brush and, you know, swish it in there. Just get it nice and wet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip my paintbrush into my paint. I'm gonna get a little bit of paint on there. I don't have a ton. And I'm basically going to, oh my God, to be so beautiful. I'm just kind of pushing my paint into the wet fabric that I just sprayed. Think of it more like you're dyeing the fabric and not necessarily like you're painting a coat of paint on the fabric. You want to do nice thin coats. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful. As I get one area painted, I'm gonna just start spraying down another area and doing the same exact thing. Now, when you're painting fabric, I find that I usually have to do two, two and a half coats. I might need to do a little bit of touch up on an area if it looks like it hasn't been covered fully. And after I'm done painting the fabric and it's well covered, I usually, this is a little tip, I like to lightly sand the fabric down just to cut out any of that stiffness. If you come into the store, all of our pieces that have been painted with fabric are really soft and that is the key to just give it a really quick light sand and then we seal it with wax. And a tip on which fabrics to paint, which fabrics are appropriate for paint, um, I find that the natural fabrics do best. So cottons, linens, silks do really nicely with paint, and anything that doesn't have like a lot of gritty texture to it. If something has like a lot of nubs on it, that usually makes the fabric a little bit more stiff. So things that are, you know, this does have texture on it, has a raised texture to it, but it's still, you know, pretty soft. Um, I have painted fabric that has a lot of pattern on it, like a printed cotton, and you can cover that bad boy, I mean, completely. The headboard that I actually did in my bedroom was an awful 80s pattern, and it is, we covered it in Paris gray, and it looks beautiful. So super, super easy. I would continue on with this and keep going, but I wanna show you one other thing before I leave you, because that's just so super easy. I know you have a hang of that. I'm gonna show you how I sand the fabric down uh, after it has been painted. So we're working on this chair and we did this the other night on an event that we had, which was great. 
And um, we painted this in duck egg blue. And I'm really angry with myself because I didn't take a before picture of it for you. I wish I could show it to you. I'll have to find it. I do have one in my archive somewhere. But this was a horrid floral fabric. It was green and pink and yellow and blue and black and gray. And there were all kinds of patterns in it. So we did about two and a half coats of duck egg blue on it. And now, if you hear that, it kind of sounds a little bit like well, it was painted. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 320 grit sandpaper. This is a little bit more fine and I'm gonna give it a really quick sand. Okay, how long was that? Maybe 10 seconds? So not a really long sand and now I have a wet rag um, these are our waxing rags. We sell these in the store. They're absolutely freaking fantastic. I can assure you, I've tried just about every rag out there. This is my absolute favorite. As I wipe this, I'm going to get color on the rag. This is because I've just sanded it and I have all kinds of chalky dust on my rag. You do not have to worry that when you sit on your fabric that you're going to get paint on you. You won't. As long as you're doing this the way that I'm showing you, you'll be fine. So I've now wiped down my fabric. I'm good to go. And I'm gonna just let this dry for a quick second. And I'm gonna rub my hand over this again and you're gonna hear a completely different sound. You hear how smooth that sounds now? It's like smooth like a baby's butt. I'm going to give this a quick coat of wax and that's it. I'm gonna rub on the wax very lightly. I'm gonna wipe back the excess and this chair will be totally done. So easy peasy. So the next time you want to paint fabric, definitely stop down to Sweet Pieces, either in Huntington or Brooklyn, um, or soon to be Massapequa. Uh, it is coming soon. We are, we are getting closer for sure. So stay tuned for more details on that. And I hope that you'll stop by either Huntington or Brooklyn this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, because we are having a big sale. We are having 20% off all of our Sweet Pieces furniture. We're doing $34.95 chalk paint quartz. I know you all love that. And to celebrate our brand new stencil rooms in both stores, we're doing 15% off of all of our stencils. So all these gorgeous stencils, and we now have them laid out in a room all on their own, are 15% off this weekend. So I hope that you will stop down and say hello to us. We cannot wait to meet you.